YouTube, it's Lena, and I'm here today with the That's Expensive Project Pan Update. This was created by Misty, whom I will link down below. Uh, it's being done in conjunction with the Fantastic Ladies, whom I will also link down below. Now, I do have one empty. I finished the Gold Fadden MD Solution Needleless Line Smoothing Concentrate Serum. Uh, nothing left in there. It was up to here last time, and I did... Like I said, I did manage to finish it. So at the end, I will show you the new thing that I'm rolling in. But going over everything else real quick, I have the Laneige Sleeping Mask, the only thing that rolled over from last year other than literally a nail polish. Um, I'm terrible about using this. I did move it to my bedside and I occasionally use it as a cuticle softener because if I ever want to finish this I need to do something like that and it is starting to smell a, not quite as berry-y as it used to still like 90% berry but there's a hint of not there uh, its weight did go from 57.6 to 56.4 so the uh, cuticle stuff did help so now I've gotten to right at 4 grams of 20 at least so yeah, I'm going to have to start using it on like my cuticles or something every night if I ever want to finish it because that thing is huge. Next is the uh, nail polish. It is the Deborah Lippman Polish in Mermaid Dreams. Uh, I only want to use it 10 times. I have used it once since last time, so now we're up to three because I never paint my nails. Its weight went from 61.4 to 60.9. So I have used up 1.4 grams of it so far, so something. It looks to be about here right now, so I've basically just gone down the little steps of it. I'm not trying to finish it, like I said, 10 times. I don't paint my nails enough to finish a full size of anything anymore, as I am sadly starting to realize. Next is... The Faccia Skincare 24K Gold Foil Moisturizer. Uh, I do want to finish it this year, but I'm not in a hurry. I'm trying to finish other things first. And admittedly, I don't love this because it is a sticky little booger. The feeling goes away after about half an hour or so, but that means I can only use it at night. Because then I can just, you know, go to bed. Its weight went from... 206.2 to 199.9 so if we got under 200 grams and so far I've used up you know 12 grams of it and it appears to come with 50 so got a ways to go luckily it doesn't come with a ton of product honestly next is the Ulla Hendrickson double rewind pro grade retinol here are my marks not too bad not too bad. I hope you can see that. My camera is not really wanting to focus, but it went from here to here because it pumps up. Uh, I only use this every other night because it's retinol. I don't want to like screw up my face with it. So we're working on it. And there was admittedly a while last month where I didn't do my skincare because I had an allergic reaction to something. Nothing skincare related. It was actually a detergent of all things. So, breakouts all over. I just, I, not only do I get sick fairly often these days, but I had an allergic reaction to something. I haven't had one of those since I was a child. It was not pleasant at all. I had to go to the emergency room. Or urgent care, technically. Not the emergency room, but basically the emergency room. It was not pleasant. Oh, anyways. Next is the Beauty Blender Bounce Liquid Whip Longwear Foundation, which I do believe they still make. I think they just changed the packaging because this packaging, while I get what they were trying to do, was like having a little palette on the back that this pumps right out into. You can't open it. You can't like s scrape all the product out. Once it stops pumping, you are done. I've only used it three times in the past month, but I finished a different foundation, so there's that. I am trying to finish a little mini right now because, honestly, I'm trying to finish a primer that does not go with this. Because I can't wear a mattifying primer with this or else it looks like crap. I have to wear a hydrating primer with this to make it look decent. 
So, I do see a little bit of windowing in here though. This, this lives sitting straight up. I don't know if you can see that because, you know, lighting and whatnot, but it looks like there might be a little open window right here, which would be cool. I've only used it like five times so far. Now it's weight, it was a little bit better than last time. This time it went from 167.2 to 165.6. That thing is made of glass, so a lot of that weight is glass. I think it only has, yeah, it only has like 30 milliliters in it, so. Not a, the average amount of product for a foundation. Now I have my Urban Decay eyeliner in, what are you in? Love Drug, that's what it is. I will insert my Paper Purgus over there. Uh, this is what it looks like. I really need to sharpen it, but uh, because Urban Decay eyeliners are awesome, uh, I could still use them when they're fairly dull, <laughs> like they stay creamy. I have used it 15 times since the last time. It's actually pretty good. And finally, before we get into new products, I have my Becca Hydro Mist Powder. As you can see, I ripped out the stopper. I was actually trying to just, because I like to bake occasionally, and this does work fine for that, I was trying to just rip out the netting to make it a lot easier, but, and you can see the itty bitty hole I poked in it, when I tried to just, you know, with my tweezers pull out the netting, it, the whole thing popped out, so I'm like, well that does solve my problem. So I have to actually like hold on to it for weight purposes, but if you want to see, which, I mean, that's the whole point of this video, you want to see things. This is about what I have. Now, when I do like the little side view thing, it goes all the way down to here, but it's filling up the entire tub, so that's not super accurate. I have used it 12 times, but I don't bake every time I wear makeup, but I do about half the time. So the weight's a bit more of a jump than that would you would make that thick. It went from 66 grams even to 62.7. I believe this only, yeah, this only comes with 10 grams. So I've used up over three. It's pretty good. Now, for what I'm rolling in, I had to start a new page in my notebook because, well, I ran out of room. I actually had to think about what I wanted to roll in because it has to still fit, you know, an expensive product in my collection. But I was like, where can I, like, squeeze something in? So I went with a mist, a facial mist. This isn't, like, for makeup. This is just for skincare, which is why I think I can squeeze it in. This is the Biro New York Tea Time Hibiscus Tea Glow Mist. It is dual phase. That's why you see that stuff. It was really nice when I tried it. I got it through Ipsy for much better price because this thing's like $63. It's all the way up to here. But when you shake it up, this is what it looks like. It comes with 5.07 ounces or 150 milliliters. Like I was trying to look at that like what does that say? I'm getting though. I've got a mark on it now. And hopefully next month, or whenever I update this again, we can show some good progress on it. So that is it. Thank you guys for tuning in. As always, I do really appreciate it, and hopefully I'll see you later. Bye!